Kobe Bean Bryant. What else can I say about that man, bro? I went from watching this man on TV to being in the same league as this man. And even in my rookie season, he's still <laughs> just one of the best players, if not the best player in the league. <laughs> crazy. The Lakers are going crazy this season. The fact that this man is dunking on Amari Stoudemire, hitting game winners on the New York Knicks like it's nothing. Drop 62. Hit the game when it's shot. <laughs> I mean, it's just another day at the office for Kobe at this point. And out west in OKC, they getting balled on by the Boston Celtics who had their first L of the season. They completely outplayed them in that fourth quarter, bro. And then J.R. Henny Smith, they're 19-1. Because of J.R. Henny Smith. Yes, the J.R. Henny Smith went off and dropped 53 points. They scored 33 points in that fourth quarter as a team. And my eyes are still on uh, OKC and the Lakers and the Mavs. Because they're the teams out west that we got to watch out for. For real, for real. They're still a contending team. Even though they just lost their first game, they have the same record as us. We're 19 and 1 as well. We won 12 games in a row, but I couldn't sleep on the defending champion. They might have had a rough start to the season. They're 11 and 6. They're still a third seed, but I can't forget about what Derrick Rose did last season. Can't forget it. He's the reigning MVP and Finals MVP. You can't leave out Derrick Rose at all. But then the stage is set. Lewis or LeBron. I had to go back and watch the tapes. Because you couldn't disrespect what Miami did. They might have gotten swept against Derrick Rose and them, but they still made it to the Eastern Conference Finals, and they are no joke. You cannot sleep on them. If you sleep on them, LeBron and D-Wade and Bosh, they're going to go crazy. And just like that, the game is here. D-Wade set the tone first possession of the game as he knocked JaVale McGee straight to the floor and went straight into his chest on some 08 Olympic Kobe type stuff. They came in, got fouled, <laughs> and as the game went on, that man D-Wade D could not miss, man. This game was close just because of D-Wade, especially in the first and second half, man. But this first half, he came out here gunning. He was not missing at all. Look at that. Three, ugh, right in my face, down the court, flash, getting rebounds, hitting post fadeaways like he Kobe, like... Hitting three-pointers, just faking the defense out. You see him right there, faking me out right there. Getting the and one. Chris Bosh grabbing almost every dog on rebound. JaVel McGee could not grab a rebound over that man. Then Chris Bosh started taking him to the perimeter. Then I got stuck on him for one possession on a bad switch. Hitting putback shots, getting rebounds again, dunking. Like, this man, Chris Bosh, it's crazy. Oh, and I cannot forget about the guy. Man, Brandon Jennings, my old rival from the Summer League. I knew, he, like I told y'all on the offseason video, I knew coming into this season, he was looking for the last laugh. And that man could not miss tonight either as he hit eight threes this game, bro. Eight threes. And he had 42 points along with Dwayne Wade. That man could not miss a three. I'm telling you, no matter if I could test it or not, but this is when my boys came in. Nick Young coming up in here, hitting threes after three. You guys back in the game, because we was trailing. Like I said, they came out there in the first half really gunning. And even in the third quarter, they were still holding a sustainable lead. We didn't really get control until about the fourth quarter, really, to be honest. But Nick Young and John Wall, they was holding it down for me in the third quarter. They was literally holding it down. Your boy was getting locked up. They was hitting they was hitting me with all the defensive sets I've never seen before. I really didn't know how to react until well <laughs> until I just got on fire. And there was no there was no stopping me. But John Wall and like I said, John Wall, Nick Young, man, I'm so proud of these guys. As you see, Nick Young had it going off from three tonight. That man hit seven threes himself. I don't know what got into him. But then it was my turn to take over. I already had 25 points coming into the fourth quarter. But I wasn't expecting 
me to do something, well, extraordinary. As y'all know, last episode that we left off, well, your man scored 68 points. And I have another 60-plus game against LeBron and an ankle breaker coming up in there. And then I'm dunking on Chris Bosh. And you see the game is still kind of close. We just got the lead. It's third quarter. That's what I'm telling you. We didn't really start taking control until late third quarter. This started getting replayed everywhere. And I could not miss in the fourth quarter. They had Mario Chalmers on me. Bucket. It did not matter. You put him on me again. Okay, I'm breaking his ankles. He comes up and contests late. Buckets right in his face. LeBron, you can't guard me either. Catch him with the screen with the curry slide. Yes, sir. Hitting him right there. Another hesitation. I go up in there. Ray Allen get dunked on. Oh, and this passively got to be the best dunk of the year. And possibly the greatest dunk I've ever had to, up to my career this far. Dunking on Udonis Haslam in that fourth quarter. He didn't know what the heck hit him. Then I dunked on Ray Allen again. I had to. I just started going crazy in the fourth quarter. They was pressuring me all game. Then I had to throw an alley to JaVale McGee. And I finished the game with, well, 71 points a month after dropping 68. And LeBron James having a 27-point triple-double this season had a stinky four points. I mean, if LeBron had just played up to his normal average standards, this game probably would have been harder. But my defense came in, and so did my team, and I came out on top and hit another franchise record. So now the question is, am I really the best player in the league?